in tutorial 6 exercise 9 we have samples of snails from a wooded area and from an open field area and we have to test whether the proportions of the three color patterns are the same in the two habitats so that's testing the snail hypothesis here so the first thing to do is to write out the results so I simply put them out in table format here the numbers of pink, brown and yellow in the wood and in the field. Now we have no theoretical expected distribution here. We're going to work out the expected values from the observations themselves. And the way in which we do this is fairly simple. For each cell, we're going to multiply the column total by the row total and divide by the overall total. So for the first cell there, we've got 1, 68 times 357 divided by 510 which gives us an expected value of 117.6 and then we simply need to work out the expected values for the other cells in the same way so for the next column it's that times the same row value divided by the same overall total and continuing through the table so here I've worked out the expected values for each of the cells. This is the number of snails expected in each color pattern if the overall proportions are the same. Now we need to work out the chi-squared value to compare the observed and expected. So as always we've got the sum of observed minus expected squared divided by expected. So for the first one, it's 126 minus 117.6 squared divided by 117.6. So over here, 126 minus 117.6 equals times divided by 117.6 is an expected value of a chi-squared value of 0 0.60 over on this page i've worked out the chi-squared values for each cell 0.6 from the previous table and then the values for the other cells so all we need to do is add those up to get the overall chi-squared value 27.03 and then we need degrees of freedom so that's columns time minus one 3 minus 1 times rows minus 1 gives us degrees of freedom equal to 2. Our chi-squared table value is 5.99. Calculated value is greater than table value, so reject the null hypothesis.